So starting with pencils, my all-time favourite purchase of 2016 has got to be the Koinor lead holder. For those of you who don't know, a lead holder just has a body of a pen or a pencil and inside it you can add your leads in. So this one's a 2B lead and I'm just going to put that back in. Here you can see the pack of 2P 2B leads that I bought for it. You can also get different grades. I have the 4B leads as well. When you buy the Toys and Door lead holder, you get an HB lead inside it. The reason why I absolutely adore the lead holder is because you don't get any waste of lead when you're sketching or using it for toning if that's what you want to use it for. I use it purely for sketching, that's it. I don't use it for toning because it's quite heavy and I have a hard time making it do what I want. Before I used the lead holder, I used to use a normal pencil for sketching out my drawings, but every time I sharpened them, the lead would break over and over. It was number one frustrating, and second of all, it was a waste of money. With the lead holder on the other hand, oops, all you need to do is sharpen it with a little mini sharpener and you don't get any wasted lead at all. Sometimes it does break if you're being a little bit aggressive or I guess harsh with it, but as long as you're gentle it won't break and you'll end up with much less less waste in the long run. My next favourite purchase of 2016 is the Tombow Mono Eraser and this one's in the size 2.3 millimetres as you can see there. The reason why I absolutely like this is because it has such a small size that you can easily rub out small details and this one for me is a much better rubber than the Darwin pencil eraser and there's a couple of reasons for this. The first is that you don't need to sharpen it. Second of all, the rubber inside this eraser is so soft that once you sharpen it and you use it to rub, you pretty much lose the entire rubber in that one erasing session. This one on the other hand has a rubber which is soft enough so that it won't damage the paper but it is hard enough so that for example if I took out a bunch of this and started rubbing out this won't snap off. My next purchase are my pencils. So here we have the Faber-Castell 9000 pencils, the next one is the Mars Lumograph pencils and the third is the Mars Lumograph black pencils. These two are your normal graphite pencils, but they have slightly different tones to them. The Faber-Castell pencils have a cooler tone to their grades, whereas the Mars Lumograph has a warmer tone. So if I zoom in and you look at the example images on the front, you can see the differences in the types of grades in their pencils. In terms of the quality of the pencils, they are so closely matched that it's hard for me to pick a favourite. So really, the only reason why I would pick one pencil above the other is because I want a different toned grey in my artwork. The Mars Lumograph black pencils on the other hand have a high level of carbon in them to help produce a darker tone so I like to use these with any graphite pencils that I have for the sake of creating a range of tones in my artwork so I will give you an example. Here we go and all the black areas was done using the Mars Lumograph black pencils. My final favourite in the pencil category are my Faber-Castell Polychromos. These are the only professional grade pencils that I have and it's only a set of 12. I do plan on getting a hold of a full set of either the Polychromos or the Prismacolors. With these Polychromos I found that you can sharpen them pretty easily without the lead breaking and they keep their point for a very long time but they're also soft enough to layer and burnish quite beautifully. So I would recommend them if you do want to try them out but I would recommend only buying a 12 set first. It did take me a little while to get used to them because they are completely different to student grade pencils but once I did I don't think I would ever return back to student grade. So that's all of my favourite pencils. Moving on to my favourite sketchbook purchases. I have never been a sketchbook user but recently I decided that I want to draw every day and I want to keep all of my drawings in one place. So I went on Amazon and I chose to buy the C White sketchbook. The reason why I chose this sketchbook is because of how elegant, shall we say, that it looks. 
but here you can see one without the plastic cover on it and it's a hardback. The paper inside is cartridge paper and cartridge paper works brilliantly with pencil. I love using pencil and I love creating realistic artwork with pencil which is why the Sea White sketchbook is an obvious favourite for me. You can see that the Sea White sketchbook comes in different sizes. This is the largest size for the square version, the details for which will be in the description. And then I also have a landscape sketchbook which is in the size A4. So this is the only piece of artwork that I have inside it right now. And then my next favourite sketchbook is the Strathmore Toned Grey Sketchbook. For me this is an all-rounder in that pencil works very nicely in it and ink also flows really nicely in it. The Sea White sketchbook, although you can use ink, because of the texture on the page sometimes I'm just not able to get that smooth line that I want. So maybe the Sea White sketchbook is not the greatest for ink, but this sketchbook right here works really well, not just with pencil, but with ink as well. And on the next page you can see this is what I'm working on right now for you guys. Moving on to my favourite inking tool purchases. The first one is a dip pen and nib set. I would rank dip pens second to brushes in terms of my favourites. Brushes obviously being my favourite if you have watched my previous inking videos. So this one is a really convenient set for beginners because it comes with a range of different nibs. So the first one is the G pen nib and this one is the favourite amongst people who use dip pens and I can see why. It has incredible flexibility which allows you to do a wide variation of lines. This has become my favourite as well. And then you get the school pen nib. I don't really use this one, it's not my favourite. It doesn't have as much flexibility as I would like. And then you get the maru pen nib and this one is used for very fine details. I also like using this nib. And then you get the Saji pen nib. Initially before I got used to the G pen nib I used to use this one a lot but the more I got used to the G pen the less I wanted to use this. But I would recommend this one if you don't like the G pen nib. Next we have one of my favourite, favourite purchases of this year and that's the Kiritaki Sumi Brush Pen Blister Number no. 8. It's got a pretty long name. This one has actual bristles on the end. It's synthetic. I would highly recommend this for anyone who loves using brushes or for those of you who want to learn how to use a brush. And my final favourite purchase of 2016 is the Windsor & Newton Black Indian Ink. So I would recommend this if you want to ink a professional piece of work and you want to make sure that the ink won't smudge if you start using watercolour on top of it. Obviously if you get a brush with water and you just scrub 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 at the line at the ink it will start to disperse a little bit but otherwise it is waterproof. Also the ink is incredibly black. Although in saying that if you try and block in a large section of black on the work you might find that some of the paper does show through. With the exception of that, however, the line work does come across as incredibly black, so I, I do recommend this one. So that's it for my favourite purchases of 2016. I will also be doing a worst purchases of 2016 video. If you would like to see other kinds of videos which are not on my channel already, please do comment them below. And thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. So, looking through Amazon, I came across the Sea White sketchbook. This one has a cover on it because it kept getting dirty, but I will show you with... Oh, shoot! Shoot! No. My last favourite in the category of pencils are my Faber-Castell Polychromos. I only have a sweat... sweat. <laughs> so starting with the pencils, my all-time favourite purchase of this year has got to be the... Qu <laughs>